Now to an ABC 10 weather impact team investigation. Over the past several months, the team traveled across California, uncovering why some of the state's most popular lakes are dying. A warming temperatures and a changing climate are giving algae and bacteria the upper hand. ABC 10 meteorologist Carly Gomez joins us with part one of this four part investigation into California's dying lakes. As the state continues to battle to save California's water, can anything be done to save once abundant, healthy lakes? I traveled to Eagle Lake in Lassen County where I found that docks are sitting on dirt, not water. History is part of the problem. Eagle Lake has been my heart and soul since birth. Valerie Aubrey devotes her life to Eagle Lake in Northern California's high desert. We were camping here basically before any of the campgrounds were paved or anything like that. So it just became home. As a fishing tour guide for more than 20 years and a member of the nonprofit Eagle Lake Guardians, Aubrey blogs about the issues plaguing the once vibrant lake. With the drought, with the water changing and such, we have very warm water. You know, last time I checked it, I had 70.8 to 30 feet. 70 degree water temperatures at a 5,100 foot elevation. Because Eagle Lake sits on the leeward side of the lower Cascade Mountain Range, it sees more sunlight and less snow. Fredonia Peak up there is almost 8,000. And it, it holds snow nicely, but it's a sharp drainage into the lakes. Stan Bales with the Bureau of Land Management says the lake's level continues to drop over the 50 years he's helped manage it. Because of the warmth of the summer and the winds, you get three to five feet of loss every year. So you have to balance that with recharge. And if you don't, then the lake just gets smaller and smaller. And recharging or naturally refilling Eagle Lake is hard. The lake relies on one source for runoff. Pine Creek connects the snowpack in nearby mountains to Eagle Lake. When you get a good snowpack and a good runoff here, coming off Lassen Park, it'll flow in here and help recharge Eagle Lake. The lake is a closed basin. Only water goes in, but not out. That was until the 1920s. Adding to the lake's dropping levels was the Bly Tunnel. The intent was to take Eagle Lake water and then sell the water through a canal system to farmers, ranchers. Little did they know, the water wasn't suited well for agriculture. Eagle Lake and surrounding Susanville and Lassen are made of volcanic rock. This rock puts a lot of alkalinity in the water, leaving the pH balance too high for certain crops to absorb nutrients and grow. Because that tunnel did drain a lot of water out of Eagle Lake, the lake got much lower, and some people who loved Eagle Lake were not happy with that. Eventually, a concrete plug was installed. An argument over water rights were filed by landowners and only a small amount of water was released through a valve. So eventually our BLM manager agreed to shut the valve on that plug. Docks like these at Eagle Lake Marina used to be common until a series of drought dropped water levels 10 feet. Now these docks are unusable. It was uh, quite the booming place in its day. It has deteriorated quite a bit. The south side is the main part of the lake now able to accommodate boaters. The Bureau of Land Management says the water quality from the middle to north sides of the lake have been hit the hardest. But if you look where the grass ends and the dark soil begins, it's really decayed algae. And algae grows on the bottom of the lake, what we call Windsurfer Beach right here. We'd have anywhere from 10 to 20, 30, even 40 people up here on a Sunday afternoon and some people would come and camp. Paul Devine with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife says algae growing in shallow water across the lake is impacting other water activities. That's been really noticeable, especially with anglers because they complain about the algae being caught on their lines and they have to reel every, their stuff in and clean it off before they can catch a fish. So this one is three quarters of a pound. Conservation strategies are underway to save Eagle Lake trout. From the 1900s to the 1960s maybe, there is 11 different species of fish planted into Eagle Lake and none of them have survived to today, so we only have the native fish. Devine says Eagle Lake trout don't mind higher temperatures and pH levels. Their genetics have adapted so well to changes in Eagle Lake that the trout are now being used to help warming lakes all over the world. There's other states in, as well as Canada, 
Uh, I've heard as far as New Zealand having eagle lake trout. As warming conditions continue, causing lake levels to further drop and algae to grow, Eagle Lake will likely never be able to reach the water levels it was at a century ago. We've got businesses trying to cope and change, and we really want to support them in the, the coming, you know, in the future to help them get going. Tomorrow, the ABC 10 weather impact team travels to Clear Lake, where dangerous bacteria is taking over the water. Don't miss part two of California's Dying Lakes on To The Point with Alex Bell, Tuesday at 630.